Riot Games unveils the 10 team owners who fought and won a spot in next year's NALCS, G2 teams up with a Formula 1 legend to create a racing sim team, and PUBG might finally make its way to China, or at least some version of it. This is the TO Monday Morning Briefing. Hey everyone, this is Graham Ashton bringing you the biggest esports business headlines from last week. The 10 previously leaked North American League of Legends Championship Series teams have been confirmed, and with the free player agency, they're already lining squads up for next year. As a reminder, the newcomers to the league include Optic Gaming and CounterLogic Gaming, as well as the NBA-affiliated Golden Guardians and Clutch City Gaming, as well as 100 Thieves, a brand run by former Call of Duty pro Matthew Nadeshot Hag, who received an investment from Dan Gilbert, the owner of the Cleveland Cavaliers. There were countless reactions to the announcement, both from those affiliated with the 10 organizations, as well as those that didn't quite make the cut. The most interesting came from Team Liquid, who published parts of their NELCS application, including a video introduction to the team brand. Lastly, in one of his first simultaneously published articles for the Esports Observer, Sports Business Journal and Sports Business Daily staff writer Ben Fisher reported that the various owners of the Golden State Warriors have been given 12 months by Riot Games to divulge their conflicts of interest within other NALCS teams. In partnership news, G2 Esports has teamed up with Formula One driver Fernando Alonso to create a new esports racing team, and in the driver's seat they already have the winner of McLaren's world's fastest gamer competition. Sticking to the automotive front, Astralis have reunited with Audi Denmark for a jersey sponsorship deal. In its valuation, Nielsen Esports found that the two's previous partnership received 10 times its return on sponsorship value during the E-League Finals and DreamHack Las Vegas competition earlier this year. And finally, Tencent has signed a strategic cooperation with Bluehole Studio to release its mega-hit PlayerUnknown's Battlegrounds in China. Despite the shooter's popularity in the region, it's been a frequent target for the Chinese government, who have a history of censoring violence in games, but in this case take particular issue with the Battle Royale, Last Man Standing nature of the game. For example, Rules of Survival, a mobile clone of the game by NetEase, got around this by calling it a People's Army Survival Training Simulator, where characters don't die but merely fade away as holograms. With Africa TV now joining OGN in creating their own esports league for the still unreleased game, the developers are quite thankful to have a company as large as Tencent take some of the weight off their shoulders. That's all for this week. If you want to keep up to date with the latest esports business news, you can find daily updates and features on our website, esportsobserver.com. You can also follow us on social media using the names above. We'll see you next week.